Hey there, are you doing okay? My name is Robert. In this lesson we're gonna try to play a song called Love Me Do from the British Rock and Roll Formation The Beatles. It was their first uh, single release 50 years ago in 1963. Before we start with the lesson I want to say that we do have a website, Robert Rocks the Mandolin, there you can find playing charts, chords, written out solos, anything you need to help you with the songs we are playing during this video lessons. My wife creates all files on printable PDFs, so visit our website. Let's look at the song. It's not a very difficult song to play, but it's a nice one to do, so why not? It has an intro, a verse, a verse, a bridge, a verse, a solo, and a final verse. Let's start with the intro. I'll play it first out for you, and then uh, we do the explanation. Here we go. That's the intro. How are we going to play that? We're starting off with a G7 chord. One, two, three, four. Climbing up the stairs. Four counts. One, two, three, four. Now we're getting a C chord. Four counts again. One, two, three, four. And we're using a, kind of, a different kind of strumming. So we're going to one more time. G7. One, two, three, four. That's uh, up and down, up and down. Now we're getting a C. Four counts. One, two, three, four. That's a kind of uh, the way the strumming goes. So the second line of the intro is played in the same way, starting off G7 chord again. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. Third line of the intro, G7 again. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And here's Joost, our doggy. How are you doing, okay, boy? Hmm? Want a cookie? There you are. So one more time uh, the whole intro in a slow tempo for you, here we go, starting off with the G7 chord. That's the intro, we're entering the first, first now, play it out for you first and then uh, we do the explanation, here we go. That's the first verse. Are we going to play that? We're starting off with the G chord, four counts. One, two, three, four. C chord, four counts. One, two, three, four. G chord again. One, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we're getting a C chord again. Three times, four counts, plus one. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. One. The second line of the verse is actually the chorus, starting off with the G7, four counts. One, two, three, four, C chord again. One, two, three, four, G7, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. That's the first verse. We're entering uh, the second verse now. It's almost played in the same way as the first verse, only at the end there's a small difference. Uh, let's play it out for you. Here we go. That's the second verse. Are we going to play that? First uh, line of the second verse is played in exactly the same way as the first line of the first verse. So starting off with the G chord, four counts. One, two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, G. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, C. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one. Now we're getting the second line of the verse. It's actually the chorus. Starting off with the G7, four counts. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G7 again. One, two, three, four, C chord, one down swing. And now we're getting a riff. Ring finger, uh, second, uh, fifth position D string. Middle finger, fourth position D string. And next finger, second position D string. 
So one more time uh, the second line of the second verse, starting of a G7, here we go. It's the, the riff is a step up to the bridge, which we're gonna play now. Play it out for you first and then uh, we do the explanation, here we go. That's the bridge. Are we gonna play that? Starting off with the D chord, two times four counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're getting a uh, C suspended four. And the finger bar all swings, third position. And then uh, ring finger on the top string, fifth position. C suspended four, four counts. One, two, three, four. G chord, four counts. One, two, three, four. So one more time, the first line of the bridge, here we go, starting off with D, two times four counts, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, uh, C suspended four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Second line of the bridge, starting off with uh, D, uh, D chord again, two times four counts, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, C suspended uh, four again, one, two, three, four, and now we're getting a G chord. One down slum, F chord, one down slum, G chord, one down slum again. So in a very slow tempo, the second line of the bridge for you, starting off with the D chord. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C suspended four, one, two, three, four, G, F, G. We're entering uh, the third verse. It's uh, played in exactly the same way as the second verse, uh, complete with the, the riff. Here we go, play it out for you. Second line of the third verse. G7, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, G7 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, and then the riff again, D5, D4, D2, and now we're getting uh, the solo part, play it out for you first, and then uh, we do the explanation, here we go, start. That's the solo part. How are we gonna play that? We're starting off with uh, D chord again, two times, four counts. There we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. C suspended four, four counts. One, two, three, four. G chord, four counts. One, two, three, four. Second line of the solo part. We're starting off with the D chord again, two times, four counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. C suspended four again, four counts. One, two, three. G chord, four times four counts plus one. And here's Joost again, now doggy. How are you doing, K-boy? Hmm? Here you are. Uh, second part of the solo. D chord. No, uh, G chord. Uh, four times four counts. The explosion. <laughs> so one more time uh, the whole solo part for you, starting off with the uh, first line, D chord. Suspended four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Second line of the solo part, D chord again. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. G suspended four again. One, two, three, four. G chord, four times four counts plus one. And then uh, 
We're entering uh, the last verse, verse number four. Uh, Tobel placed in the plate in the same way as the earlier verses, so there we go. Starting off G gold, four counts. Second line, the fourth verse, G7. G7 again. Third line of the verse, starting off with the uh, G7 again. G7 again. G7. And now we're getting an ending part. G, F, G. One more time, uh, the last <coughs> line of this uh, last verse for you, starting off G7, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, G7, 1, 2, 3, 4, G7, G, G is uh, to create a logical end on the end of the song. That's the whole song explained. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Tot ziens. Breath from Joosty. Goodbye, tschüss, buenas noches, arrivederci.